Hey guys, it's Heidi from Scan Amy today. So the other day I was shopping around and I happened to find this brand new mold that just came out and it's a Disney frozen mold and it has Olaf on it. So I've been making bark candy for the last day or so and I can't wait to show you. So let's go inside and get started and make some. Okay, to make our Disney frozen bark candy, first you will need the Disney Frozen Mold for Bark Candy, and I was able to find this in the Arts and Crafts Supply Store in the baking section. So the packaging says you need about 20 wafers for each one of these cavities, which is about 120 wafers for the entire mold here. So here I have different chocolate candy wafers, and what it looks like on the packaging, they're using the color bursts and the light blue, but I thought it'd be fun to use some of the other colors that I see in Frozen. So what I thought it'd be fun to do is do one layer of one color and then one layer of another color, such as a white-blue combination or a pink-white combination. So really, you can get really creative with all these different kinds of color combinations and it's so much fun to do. So many times there's all kinds of yummy sprinkles that you can add to your bar candy and here we have all kinds of different colors and as well textures and shapes. Some other fun ideas are the jelly beans that came out celebrating the Disney movie Frozen and as well the miniature size marshmallows. So here I have some crushed up rock candy and as well you can crush up some blue candy canes which is what I did here earlier. Makes it really fun and festive. Let's head on over to the stove and start melting some candy chocolate wafers. Okay, so here we're at the stove and I have a pot of water that's one fourth full. We're gonna add in another pot. It's gonna be our double boiler and we have a wooden spoon here. Then we're gonna melt our light blue candy wafers. Stir your candy wafers with the wooden spoon until they're melted and completely smooth. Okay, so this is great and you can see how smooth it is. And now we are going to start filling in our molds. Okay, so here is our mold and now we're ready to put on our melted blue candy. Next, take your spatula and just move the blue melted candy chocolate around so it goes from corner to corner of each mold cavity. See, this has a really nice textured effect and you can either leave it like this or give this a good shake and it will help flatten out the candy chocolate and you want to have this in the freezer for at least 15 minutes if not a half hour you just want to have this nice and cold and stiff that way you can start working on the next color so I just took the mold out of the freezer and as you can see the blue candy chocolate is nice and hard now and now we're gonna add on our white candy chocolate that has the color burst on it. All right, and now just spread around the white candy chocolate across the mold. like this effect that you have like a textured effect to it but if you want you can also tap this on the table and then the white candy chocolate with the color burst in it will start smoothing out okay we're gonna start adding on our toppings add on some sprinkles marshmallows so the last two I'm gonna leave as is because I also like being able to see the color bursts as well. So now we're ready to stick this into the freezer for at least another 15 minutes to a half hour and then we'll be able to enjoy these shortly. So I just took this out of the freezer and you can see this is nice and hard now and now we're ready to start unmolding our bark candy. So let's do the corner one here with the flat surface. And all you have to do is just move this around, just wiggle it around. It's very easy to unmold. And the fun thing is on the other side, we have Olaf, which is so much fun when you're unmolding 
the bar candy. And you can see that the outline of Olaf is really, really good. So I'm so excited. Let's do some more unmolding. Let's do the one with the jelly beans. And it says, let's build a snowman. So let's continue working on unmolding some more. Over here, you can see I made a bunch of different bark candies, all kinds of toppings and color combinations. I did the pink and white, and this has pink rock candy on it, but I have also did some other toppings for the pink-white combination. And then I did a purple and white with the color bursts, and this has the snowflakes and the silver sprinkle, and I did other toppings as well for this purple-white combination. And then for the dark blue, I used the white candy wafers with the color burst as well. And this has the clear rock candy, but you can see I did as well lots of other fun toppings. And then I made some more blue white bark candies. Now this one right here, I think I'm going to try. This has the crushed blue candy canes on it, and I think it's so perfect for this time of the year. So let's go outside and try this. Okay, so now I'm ready to have my bark candy. And this is the one where it has, let's build a snowman on it with Olaf. And it's the blue candy chocolate with the crushed up blue candy cans. So let's try it, can't wait. So I had so much fun making all kinds of bark candy, as you could tell. I love being able to combine different colored chocolate candies and sprinkles and textures. It was just so much fun. And it's perfect timing because right now with the holidays coming, it's great as like stocking stuffers or as what if you are going to have like some kind of holiday party and you want me to do some kind of swap or as well a frozen party. So let me know if you have any recipe requests down below in the comment section and have a great week. Goo you and mommy's hack. See you later guys. Bye.